Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this water drop effect here. And to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm also going to show you how to give this a electrifying effect on top of it. So you can choose which one you like. And this is for a wallpaper background. And I have to say that I didn't think this of myself. This is not my tutorial. This tutorial is from someone from crystalxp.net. And the username is ACM321. So that's the person who made up the water swirl tutorial. And the credit goes to them. So now let's start. Go to File, New. And use the size of your desktop background and click OK. And now pick a darker and lighter shade of the same color. And I'm using blue. And this is my notation 26269F for the foreground color. And for the background color I'm using 5252D7. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to go to my blend tool here. And make sure my gradient is set foreground to background and the rest at default. And I'm going to stroke down like this. And now go to your paintbrush tool and set your foreground color to white. I'm clicking on this icon and this icon and now it's white. And I'm using a brush of circle 7 and make sure it's a hard brush and it's set to scale 1. And then just draw a swirl like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Although this is a little bit... It's fine. Then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur it by 40, both horizontal and vertical, and click OK. Now go to filters, distorts, whirl and pinch, and use the following settings. Whirl angle at 720, pinch amount at minus 0.5, and radius at 1, and click OK. And now it will look like this. And now go to filters again. Distorts. And this time waves. And use these settings. Amplitude 75. Phase 140. And a wavelength 45. And click OK. And there we've got our nice water drop effect. And to make it a, a more interesting picture. Uh, to give it an electrifying effect. Just go to your layer dialog and click on the create a duplicate layer icon here and on this top layer go to filters render clouds difference clouds and click ok and now it already looks really cool and to get the electrifying effect go to your layer dialog and under the mode click on saturation and now we're done. So uh, that was it. That was this video. And if you uh, liked it, then I hope you like to watch my other videos as well. And subscribe. And thank you for watching.